All right, jumping back into the uh, magnetization talks, the statement reads, an infinitely long circular cylinder carries a uniform magnetization, big M, parallel to its axis. Find the magnetic field due to the magnetization inside and outside the cylinder. All right, let's draw it up. So we have a giant cylinder with M running parallel to the axis, and that would mean that the normal direction points perpendicular to the cylinder. In this case, it's also perpendicular to M. All right, why does that matter? Well, we know that we can find the magnetic field from the bound current states. So the surface current bound state is M cross N hat, and the volume is the curl of M. All right, oops. Our next slide. So the solution says that since the magnetization is uniform within the, cil the cylinder, excuse me, the volume bound current is zero because the curl of constant or the derivative of constants is zero. That's nice. But the surface bound current is not zero. And in fact, if we put in the unit vectors, we have m z hat cross s hat, which tells us that uh, if we're dealing in uh, cylindrical systems, that that is equal to m phi hat. All right, fair enough. The field is that of the surface current uh, KB equal M phi hat, but that's just a solenoid. Oh, go figure. A cylinder with a surface current mimics a solenoid. Good to go there at, as far as conceptually. So the field outside is zero and inside is just equal to uh, mu naught KB, which is equal to mu naught M. Moreover, it points upwards and is identical to, or as indicated in the diagram. Therefore, B equals mu naught M. Pretty straightforward. Uh, this technique will definitely be used again, so we'll see it very soon.